Hey everybody, this is Joanne from San Gabriel Valley Music Magazine. We're here at the 2015 NAMM show. Um, I was able to uh, walk in there and see a lot of cool, neat things. And what's happening in 2015 is tons and tons of technology. Um, Chad Smith went to uh, Europe and he actually recorded his drum kit um, at the old castle where John Bonham recorded part of Led Zeppelin 3 and Led Zeppelin 4 and he had his drum sampled and, the, and uh, there's a company called Spitfire that's coming out with a bundled package of those sounds. Uh, lots of technology. So um, here's some sights and some scenes from now 2015. Thanks for hanging out with us. You know, if there's a bucket list, I mean, this is a bucket list thing that isn't even on your fucking bucket. <laughs> I got, you wouldn't know, was, uh, uh, but you can go into, uh, you know, Electric Ladyland and and you can go into, uh, you know, Abbey Road and places like that where amazing music's been made. But if you got money, you can go in and make a crappy song and hey, I record where the Beatles did. That's cool. Nobody's been in here for 40 years, except for the people living there. Maybe some ghosts, maybe some panties. <laughs> maybe some crusty panties from the Led Zeppelin day. I don't know. But there's a song called When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin. They borrowed it, but they recorded a version of When the Levee Breaks, and that is the sound for drums. Like, everyone's been sampled a million times over from the Beastie Boys to everybody. I mean, everyone knows that beat. The one that I do to Gaga, right? Led Zeppelin recorded some of their third record here, some of their, most of their fourth record, and a lot of physical graffiti. Led Zeppelin happens to be my favorite band. John Bonham just so happens to be the best rock drummer ever and my personal favorite. And when the levee breaks, a particular number that has a certain sound that is probably the most um, iconic drum sound that everyone is, tries to emulate and has for over 40 years. And to be able to have an opportunity to record in the spot that no one has been in here for 40 years now private residence it has been but it, but no one has recorded music and to be able to play drums where John Bonham played those beats and that music is beyond my wildest dreams I, if you would have told me that when I was a little kid I would have said that you're high on crack <laughs> to be able to just look up and see the way the stairs go, just to be in that space and play those notes and be in this same air.